Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. Are you guys hungry? Well, it's Traeger Day, so let's get to cooking, everyone. Hi, guys, this is Rob, and guess what? It's Traeger Day. I'm going to make this a short and sweet video uh, so it doesn't go long. And so, what I'm making today is chicken wings. And so, the first thing I did was go to Costco, and you can get the little chicken wings pre cut in packs of uh, 12 and it's a wonderful way to do dinner really quick you can grab two of those right out of the freezer thaw them out in water in your sink and uh, they're pretty much ready to uh, start cooking in about an hour so what I normally do is uh, I'm not going to show you but I can explain it is I take the chicken and I put it in a bowl like this and then what I do is I, I use just table salt Try not to over salt it, but make sure they're salted. I add a little bit of uh, garlic powder, a little smoked paprika, and uh, a little bit of uh, lemon pepper. And I just stir them all up in there and get them all that. So what I like to do is I like to then put, um, put them in the Traeger and smoke them for about a half an hour. So that's where I'm at right now. They're at the smoking stage. So if I open this up real quick, you can see. that uh, they're just in there smoking. I want to get a little smoky flavor. Now I'm going to turn it up and I'm going to cook the wings to about 80-85% done. I like to take my wings up to about 90-95, about 190 degrees when, I, when they're done. But I'm going to take them up to like 165 and pull them. And you go, well they're not done yet. No they're not. So then I'll take them and I'll show that process. I'm going to put them back in this bowl and I use melted butter and a, uh, a rub and I'll show you what rub it is in a minute. Can't remember the names. So i got to show it to you. Anyway, and so I coat them with the rub and the rub is also combined with melted butter. I know that sounds good. <laughs> it is. I've done this like three times and consistently it came out the same. And so then I'll put them back in the Traeger at about 300 degrees and uh, cook them up to 190 degrees. And I like to get them well cooked so they're a little bit almost crispy. Anyway, super, super good. So here we go and, uh, and bear with me. I'll try to make this a fast video. Hey guys, so uh, these have been cooking at 300 degrees. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to rotate them because I don't want to cook them all the way anyway. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, Get my thermometer and we're going to check the temperature. I measured a couple of these, they're definitely around 165, so I'm going to pull them out and do the next process. So uh, we're in the kitchen now. My Traeger is still running at 300 degrees. This only takes a minute. What I'm going to do is take my melted butter and slowly pull it, pour it on the chicken. And the, uh, the rub that I add to it is this uh, Stubbs chicken spice rub. Um, we tend to like it. It has good flavor. <clears throat> so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that, maybe a little bit of garlic powder. That's it. I'm not going to put it on too heavy. I have been known in the past to put too much on, so uh, we already have a little bit of seasoning on it now. They're probably good the way they are, but this will be a, a, a nice coating on them, and then we're going to cook them up to 190, 195 degrees, and get them nice and cooked and crispy and yummy, and be ready to go.
Okay, one last thing, guys. When I take this chicken out of the bowl, there's going to be a lot of uh, seasoning, butter, and uh, leftovers at the bottom of the bowl. So what I do now is why I'm doing this final cook, I will be turning my chicken and basting them with the uh, seasoning that I put on them in this bowl. So you'll see that in a moment. I'll do that outside. And here we go. Alright, so we got the chicken all loaded, getting ready to put the lid down. As you can see in my bowl, I still have a lot of buttery goodness in there with a lot of my seasoning. So I'm going to uh, cook these for another five minutes or so. Come in and I'm going to turn them and keep basting them uh, as long as I still have some juice to put on them. So we're almost done, guys. So these guys have been cooking for a while. And what we're going to do is turn them. And after I turn them, I'm going to baste them again. See, I turned them one more time right side up and uh, basted them one more time with that buttery goodness and uh, they are reaching around 190 right now so they'll only be in here for another five minutes at the most and then we're gonna pull them out and let them cool and sit and rest a little bit and they're ready to eat all right guys our, ch our chickens done I'm ready to pull it out I uh, what I didn't tell you is I'm cooking with cherry uh, wood pellets so uh, uh, I'm pretty happy with all different flavors, but uh, cherry's been kind of fun to work with. So anyway, uh, I'm going to pull these. I'm going to let them rest for about 10 minutes or so, and I'll show you a picture of them um, here in a minute. And uh, the chicken goodness is here. I want to thank you very much for watching, and uh, enjoy. So here is our chicken wing goodness. So I like to let these sit for about 10, 15 minutes and they're ready to eat. So uh, they uh, also taste really good cold the next day. <laughs> so anyway, enjoy guys and thanks for watching. Hey, thank you for watching Traeger Day with us, an outdoor travel channel. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. I mean, share them. I mean, everybody. Send them to your family, everybody. Thank you.